40,000 years ago, our ancestors, walking about 19 kilometers daily. In addition, physical activity. Do you remember when you walked 19 kilometers in a day? Time changed, but our body didn't change too much. Our body still requires constant physical activity to maintain good health and well-being. For example, middle-aged woman. If she is physically inactive, she experienced a 52% increase in all-cause mortality, including cardiovascular mortality and cancer-related mortality. Second example, rats selectively bred for high and low physical activity. Physically active rats lived almost 50% more than physical inactive rats. So, we can say, physical activity increases lifespan in mammals. Third example. After getting COVID, patients who are physically inactive have higher risk of hospitalization and death. Compared to patients who are physically active. So physical activity helps us even from COVID-19. Fourth example, physically active men and women exhibited a 30% to 40% reduction in the relative risk of colon cancer, and physically active women a 20% to 30% reduction in the relative risk of breast cancer, compared with their inactive counterparts. Even in people who already have cancer, Physical activity was associated with a decreased recurrence of cancer and risk of death from cancer. Mental health. Many studies support physical activity as a non-invasive therapy for mental health improvements in cognition. Physical activity decreases risk of depression, anxiety, neurodegenerative diseases, for example, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease and drug addiction. You may have a question, what kind of physical activity is better? Two type of physical activity exists, aerobic physical activity and muscle strengthening physical activity. Physical activity in everyday life and exercise training is mainly an aerobic activity, where a majority of energy production occurs via oxygen-dependent pathways. It is biggest health effects. Muscle strengthening physical activity is referred to in everyday language as strength training or resistance training and is a form of physical exercise slash training that is primarily intended to maintain or improve various forms of muscle strength and increase or maintain muscle mass. For health aerobic physical activity is better, although muscle strengthening physical activity has its advantage. For example, if you want muscular and stronger body, Muscle strengthening is important, but for pure health effects, aerobic exercises is superior. Aerobic exercises examples, walking, playing tennis, running, cycling. Aerobic activity health effects during aerobic exercise, formation of new capillaries, dash increased aerobic capacity, improved endothelial function, lower risk for cardiovascular disease, improved function in heart disease, improved glucose transport and insulin sensitivity, improved health in people with type 2 diabetes, or prevented, improved blood pressure regulation, lower risk for cardiopulmonary disease, improved blood lipid profile, lower risk for cardiopulmonary disease in elderly and Alzheimer's risk, improved peripheral nerve function dash better coordination, balance and reaction, especially in children and elderly. Enhanced release of signaling substances resulted better sleep, less anxiety, treatment of depression, improved hippocampus function, improved cognition and memory, less medication is needed, improved immune function, decreased overall risk for disease, anti-inflammatory effects, strengthening the connection between brain metabolism and immune function, decreased risk for disease, improved metabolism, decreased risk for depression. And what kind sport disciplines is better for overall health? There is strong evidence that both running and football improve heart function, aerobic capacity, metabolism balance and weight status. Football was additionally shown to benefit muscular performance. Also racket sport is highly effective. It decreases risk of death by 47%, while aerobics 27%. 
swimming 28%, cycling 15%. We can conclude that football and racket sport has highly effective health benefits. All children and adolescents are recommended at least 60 minutes daily physical activity. Longer is better. All adults from 18 years of age and above are recommended to be aerobically physically active at least 150 minutes a week at a moderate intensity or at least 75 minutes per week at vigorous intensity marked pulse increase. One can meet the daily recommendations for physical activity by brief high intensity exercise and remaining physically inactive for the rest of the day, thereby creating a polarization of physical activity. Having a high dose of conscious physical training, despite having a low energy expenditure in normal life, due to high volumes of sedentary time. Polarization of physical activity may lead to increased risk of poor health despite meeting the recommendations for physical activity. So, no cheating is allowed.